Aloha, it's Panlasa Nitisoy. I'm in outside my neighborhood. So tonight I am making upo, tabungao in Ilocano, and it's baro gourd in English. So I used to make this in a fire station, and they used to call it stinky feet soup. You know why? Because of the patis, fish sauce. I used to clear out our TV room. So I get to watch the TV by myself when I'm cooking, which was cool. They like the taste of it. But they didn't like the smell of patisse when it's cooking. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something. Continue to subscribe, follow, and like my channel. And I hope you guys always, always enjoy life to the fullest. Thank you very much. Stinky feet soup, oh so good. Just can't stand the smell I should. Salt and spice, it tastes so nice, but my nose. Goes cold as ice Stinky feet soup On the stove Love the taste But not the grove Friends come near They run away Can't handle the feet display Stinky feet soup Oh so grand Love what's in But smell can't stand Try to hold breath As I swallow but the scent, it tends to follow Ingredients for this dish 3 pounds of 85% lean grass-fed ground beef of course, some patis Avocado oil or any other oil you have Ground pepper Six cloves of garlic, mince A whole large onion A small size and large size of tabungao Or upo Slice this way Make sure you remove the seeds, okay? On a heated pot About a teaspoon and a half of oil and Then you saute your onion and Then you saute your garlic Now you put your meat And we cover it up Let it simmer for a little while So we're gonna check this out after 5 minutes Oh yeah Looks good <laughs> Perfect. All right. I'm going to add some ground pepper. Then we'll add some patis or fish sauce. My secret ingredient to clear out the TV room. About two tablespoons of patis. And if needs be, we can uh, add some more later. And then I'm going to add a cup of water. Some people prefer not having water. I like mine with a little bit of water. And cover it up. And we'll let it simmer. Now I'm gonna put the tabungao or upo. So this dish is almost like picadillo or picadillo. 
as we say in the Philippines. But with the bungao or upo squash or bottle gore, and the difference is on the picadillo, we use soy sauce or shoyu. On this one, we use patis. Some people use shoyu or soy sauce as well. But I prefer using my patis. So you want to make sure meat thoroughly so it spreads out. I'm going to add a little bit more patis just for flavor. Probably a tablespoon. That's good. And then a little bit more pepper, brown pepper. Stir it. So I've seen recipes there with carrots. Some of them put cabbage. Some of them put zucchini. It's totally up to you guys what you guys want to do. But I just want to make upo, straight up. Upo, the bungao. I'm gonna cover it up, let it simmer for a while. We're gonna check it after two minutes. If the squash is cooked, doesn't look like it is yet. So we'll just give it a little bit of a stir here. I would say probably five more minutes. Just until the uh, upo is done. So let's check this out. After three minutes. Oh, it's almost there. You know when it's cooked, when, the, the, when it looks like this. So it's not quite cooked yet. As you can see, some of them are still kind of white or pale. So, you gotta mix it so everything gets cooked evenly. So, you can put ground pork on this one if you want to, ground chicken, shrimp, even chicken, regular chicken. Um, you could use um, fish, depending on your taste or how you want to do it. The kids here in my house prefer beef. But you can use whatever meat you have available. Okay, it's almost done guys. But I have to cover it up some more and make sure that everything is cooked and soft. All right, let's check this out, guys. Let's see if it's cooked. All right. Yeah, it's almost ready. I would say probably two minutes. Let's just stir it up. Okay, let's cover it up. Okay guys, it's done. So all we gotta do is taste. See how the color is different? So it's cooked. All right, so we're gonna taste this. Okay, so we're gonna taste this thing. Yeah, it tastes like. Go we'll get um, the bungao and meat. And a little bit of sauce or sabao. Alright. See how this is. Perfect. The meat. Mm. Anyways, it's good. I hope you guys learned something. And as always, 
Aloha and enjoy life.